Hello, this is Andrea from Andrea Saves. I know I've been gone for a long time, but I am back. I'm going to try to get back on the ball and see how we can go. If you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, welcome. I have missed you. And I am going to do some savings challenges and go over my goals from last year to see if I have met them to see what I am going to do. And I have not quite gotten my goals for 2024 set up, but when I get those done, I will do those. So first up, we're gonna do our goals and how much we did. So for 2023, my three financial goals were to build $5,000 into my emergency savings. Number two was to pay off as much debt as possible. And number three was to max out my IRAs. So. I am going to let you know that as far as my $5,000 emergency savings, as of the end of the year, I made $4,771.70. So I was short $228.30. I have since then, we have gotten paid back some money that we were owed, and I have been able to get that up to $5,000 now, but I did not hit that goal by the end of 2023. All right. For my paid off as much as possible, we paid off $5,268.80. Our total debt is $320,081.07. So that is all of our debt, credit card house, all of that kind of stuff all in one. So I am hoping to make double this this year, but we will see and max out my IRA. So I did, I set it to be automatically withdrawn from my account this year, and I did get my 5,000 or $6,500 total. So I got $1,300 in my Roth and $5,200 in my traditional IRA. And then I set up my goals for this year to up it because the amount went to 70 7,000 I think it was. So it will take an automatic $134 a week out of my account. And then at some point during the year, I will have to have $32 overage somewhere else to put in there so that it will hit the maxed out of $7,000. But this was my first year ever making a f my fully funded IRA. I only opened it a year and a half ago. So that is really exciting. I am in my 40s, so I'm kind of late doing this, but I guess better late than never. So I am excited to, know to tell you that I did get my IRA fully funded for 2023 and I am working on that now to fully fund it for 2024. All right, so that was my update on my goals. I have missed you guys. <laughs> I am going to do this small binder and some savings challenges to see what we can do. All right, so I have 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, and 58. And if I don't need all of this in here, then I will save some of it to do my savings challenges in my large binder at a later point. All right, so this is my saving challenges and you will see that some of them have changed. I did continue, even though I was not video recording, I did continue doing savings challenges on behind the scenes. All right, so I have started this savings challenge this is, it was a freebie by Savvy Budgets on Etsy. I started it on the 2nd of January and I am working for this. This is going to go into my emergency savings. All right, let's go on and we'll just do eight, which is the first one. And see where we can get. So this will give us $300 when we are all done. All right. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I guess I could count where we're at. We're at 25, 31, 2, 3. 33 out of 300. So we are one tenth of the way done. All right, this is a 
savings challenge that I won from Golden Girl Budgets, but this is created by Dizzy Budgets. And the last time I did it, I scratched off the 15, so I owe this $15. And this is going for large household purchases and repairs. All right, so I have 300 of it already put in the savings account, ready for that. So 300, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22. So we have $322 saved up. And once I get $50 in any of them, I will be putting it in savings. I do have a high yield interest savings over at Ally Bank. And I plan to earn as much interest as I can. Because, you know, money is just something else. All right. And we will roll to find out how many more we are going to go. So we have to pick three. One, two... We get a chocolate bar this time. Oh, looks like we have 15 again for next time. So let's move our arrow and we will save our 15 the next time we get to this challenge. All right, this is the Roll of the Dice Challenge. This is by One Frugal Introvert. I love it because you can. Do it however you want it really you can pick one number you can roll one dice two dice five dice whatever i'm gonna roll two dice this time all right i got a number three and a number four so we are going to go that's seven let's hope i can find the right things so here's a four and an orange one. Ooh, that's bright. All right, so let's see if we have to change. So I need to do seven. So I'm going to put in ten and take out three. One, two, three. So where we are at already is I have 150 in the savings, and this is being saved for vehicle repurchase and repairs. So vehicle 150, 160, 161. That is one awesome thing I did do this year. We got our car paid off. I do not have a car payment anymore. Um, so that is exciting. What I am doing instead is I'm still keeping the car payment in the budget. I am putting it in the vehicles repair and replacement envelope in my Ally Savings account. That way when we do have to buy another vehicle or we need to do repairs on any of our cars that we can do that. Um, I don't really want to get a car payment right now. so we have cars that are in decent repair we're going to keep them running as best as we can and save money so that we have money to deal with that when that time comes all right next up is the winter savings challenge this is by Cindy Cat Budget so this was a gift I believe when I bought something at some point <laughs> so uh, each of these are two so I am going to put in ten dollars and color in five of these and this is going into the bucket for my kids so I have a bucket that is saved for my children to cover any expenses like sports driver's ed, dancing, um, school functions, yearbooks, things like that. So 25, 31, and 32 I have saved for this one. So that when this is all done, that is where it will go. It will go into the Ally bucket for my kids. All right, next up is this $100 savings challenge. This is by Teacher Mom Budgets. And I am going to put in five so we can finish this side. And this money is going into the vacation envelope in my Ally account. When it is saved up, I am hoping to do a trip this year. I would really like to do Disney, but I am not sure that's going to happen. So my next second son is going to be 18 at the end of the year, and I would like to do Disney. That would be where he would love to go. So if I can do make it happen, I will. So I'm going to work at saving up quite a bit if I can. All right, so we have 50. 
55, 56, 57, 58 saved. So there will be some savings challenges done to add money to the savings or to the vacation fund. I also am trying to put away money in out of our paychecks when our paychecks come as well. All right. Here we've got this is the $300 savings challenge. This is by D versus Debt. And I'm going to color in the seven and do seven this time. So this money is for my pets and vets. So I do have dogs and cats and chickens. Um, so that if I have to take any of them to the vet or do any expenses that I can have some extra money. All right, so $100 is already in the account. 20, 35, 36, and 37. So we have 137 of our $300 challenge done. We're almost halfway there. All right. And last, but certainly not least, and we are going to use up the rest of what we have to do this one. This is the $121 savings challenge by One Frugal Introvert. And I have $6 left out of the money that we had earlier. So we are going to color in this and put in six. So we're gonna do a five. And a one. This money is going to vehicles repair and purchase account. All right, so we have 50 in the account already. 70, 80, 5, 86, 87, 88, 89. So we have 89 of our $121 saved up. And that is all of our dollars today. Thank you for watching. If you have made it this far, go ahead and leave me some kind of smiley face emoji in the description or in the comments below. I appreciate you and thank you for watching and thank you for being here with me. I appreciate you. Have a great day. Bye.